Our text for today is from Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Saviour. The prophet Habakkuk was facing the invasion of an enemy in which he knew that the whole of the livelihood of the people could be destroyed. No more food, no more wine, no more bread, no more milk, no more meat, nothing. Nothing on the shelves, nothing in whatever they had for supermarkets in those days. And yet, he says, that he would rejoice in the Lord. How on earth can he do that? And the only answer, of course, is because of the next line where he says, The sovereign Lord is my strength. He knew that God was in charge, that whatever would happen to him or to his country, that God was not being taken by surprise, and he could trust the Lord. And that is why, of course, we have that more famous verse from Habakkuk in chapter 2, verse 4, where Habakkuk says that the righteous person, the one who is in a right relationship with God, will live by faith, or by faithfulness, trusting in God, and continuing to do what God has given us to do. So we trust God, we put our faith in him, and we go on doing good. That's what Habakkuk says, and that's how he could continue to rejoice in the Lord, in spite of there being nothing else that he could rely upon.